the Latouche Cup next. Four miles and two furlongs. Don't to 160. On a week we've already got two Grand Nationals, a uh, Whitbread Gold Cup, and a Hunter's Grand National as well. At least Lottery John Morgan, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, National Prince Joshua Sutherland, Stamble and Hill John Morgan, Argyle Star, Paul Parsons, Parsons Dackler, Wall James Shea, Shemin Defay, Padre Hogan, Shona Fabiola, David Robertson, and Tintin Farrell, Padre Hogan. I'm amazed we got this many turned up for this. And away and racing. And lottery. Oh, I think a lot of people expected to see in the Grand National last week. Along with Gritter, they were the two that were probably the best names to be in the Grand National from the John Morgan's town, but neither of them showed up. Stampaland Hill. On the outside, there's just the leader from Lottery. Shona Fabiola is third. And Shimon de Fee. National Prince. Frozen Hope. Last week's hero. And Dakla Wall is just a back marker. Stampeland Hill and Lottery. Leading to the second. And we'll safely over that one. Showing a Fabiola. Back in third. Argyle Star and Frozen Hope. Shimon Defay, National Prince. Tints in Far and Dakla Water. One of the horses that did well at the National last week are in this. Obviously, not deciding to go for the Scottish National. Stampeland Hill is in front. Into the third. Looks they're all safely over. Oh, God, Star, of course, was the one that wasn't allowed in the last one last week, wasn't it? Interesting to see how that one does. I should have done my research on this race a little bit beforehand because well, there's so many races I have to commentate on these days, I just don't have time to do the stuff that I used to do, I'd look up where what people have done last week and who have won it last year and all that sort of stuff. Well, funny feeling off the top of my head that this isn't a handicap, this one. It's off level weights, but I might be wrong. Stampeland Hill. Uh, lottery. And dispute the lead over the, f over the sixth. Could be, of course, why. Some of those horses that would have been at the top of the weights are in this one. It isn't. And he got back in the day, I would have had two computers going for this and I'd have been able to look it up all the way going, but I just don't have time to set that sort of setup up anymore. And it's a case of just plugging the laptop into the TV and getting on with it rather than. Two or three screens like I used to. But anyway, it's Lottery in front. Stampeland Hill is second. Then Argyle Star and Shem on the feet. Tints in forest after that one. National Prince Frozen Hope. Sharon of Fabiola. And finally, Dakla Wall as they take the eighth of the 22. Mistake by Dakla Wall at the back. Stampeland Hill and Lottery disputing the lead. Over that one nicely. Maybe one. Well, one of them made a bit of a mistake. I think it might have been Josh's National Prince. Lottery and Stampeland Hill then still matching strides in the lead as they get into the 10th of the 22. Mistake again by National Prince at the back. It's the 11th. I'm pretty sure that one's going to be the second last next time round. Stampeland Hill in front, Lottery second. And 
tints in foreign I'll, I'll start Shimon the Fay is next and Shona Fabiola and Frozen Hope Dakla War and finally National Prince we've got the Irish National and the, and the Scottish National both of them are I think I think over the 12th we got the Whitbread on day three. One of my favourite races, that the Whitbread. It's not called the Whitbread anymore. I don't know what it's called these days, really. The 365 Cup, is it? I was around, I can't remember. So all those races should never be allowed to change their name. Anyway, they passed the winning post, they got a fur on the go. I'm just an old, miserable so and so who likes things the way they used to be sometimes. Stampeland Hill leads from Lottery in second as they get over the 13th. Coming to Padraig Hogan pair, Tints in Foreign and Shimon the Fate. Showing a Fabiola, National Prince. You'd think this would be in France, wouldn't it? This race, the Latouche Cup. But if not, it's in Ireland still where we've been all day today. No darting around as yet as they get to the 14th. Oh, we'll safely over the 14th with Stampeland Hill in front, Lottery second. Shimon Defay third, Tints in final fourth, National Prince has moved through now into fifth. And he's going a lot better on the flat than he is on the jumps at the moment. If he can get his jumping together, he'll be okay. That one alright. So too did Shona Fabiola, Frozen Hope just been niggled along a little bit in Dakla Wall and Argyle Star has just now dropped to the back as they head to the next. John Morgan pair have been first and second all the way so far, but I think that may be about to be broken. The shim on the feet is coming through to challenge on the outside. I'm going to try and poke his head past lottery. Stampeland Hill though continuing to lead. Shim on the feet is now just second. Lottery third, then Tints in final. National Prince is now travelling well enough in fifth. Then showing a Fabiola. Frozen Hope, Dakla Walk. And finally, Argyle start at the 17th. Uh, Stampeland Hill led. Oh, Shimon de Fay and Lottery. Tints in foreign national prince. It's starting to hot up now. The jockey and Argyle start having a look behind him then to see what's behind him. The answer is nothing. And it's Stampeland Hill in the lead, leading by a neck to Shimon de Fay as they take the 18th. And Shimon de Fay jumped into the lead there. Shimon de Fay just poked his head in front from Stampeland Hill. Tints in fire and then Lottery. Then comes National Prince. Gap to Shona Fabiola and Frozen Hope. Dakla Wall after that. This is the 19th and over that they go. And Stampeland Hill has jumped back into the lead. Stampeland Hill then by three parts of a length to Shimon de Fay in second. Then Tints in fire. Lottery being pushed along. National Prince is not asked for his challenge on that one yet. Frozen Hope is creeping closer. Shona Fabiola likewise. Then a gap to Dakla. Argyle stars drop right out the back, but it's Stampeland Hill from Chemin de Fay as they head towards the third from home. And it's Stampeland Hill who's going to lead into it. Two lengths clear, suddenly quickens up as he gets into it, jumps it really nicely. Chemin de Fay over it in second. Frozen Hope is now challenging lottery for third. Tints in final next in National Prince. Dakla Wall and Shona Fabio are trying to run on. This is the final ditch, the second last. And it's Stampeland Hill who's clear. Stampeland Hill, four lengths clear at the final ditch, gets over it nicely. He gets away from it well. Shem under fire over it in second. Then comes Frozen Hope, Tints in fire, and Dakla Wall after that. Lottery's trying to get back into it. Shona Fabiola on the wide outside. They're swinging for home. There's still three furlongs to race, but only one more fence to jump. And it's Stampeland Hill for John Morgan, who's three or four clear of Shem on the Fay in second. Then comes National Prince, Frozen Hope. He's back in fourth. Then Tints in fire. Shona Fabiola is still running on. They're coming down towards the final fence. Stampeland Hill now about a length and a half clear, but Shimon de Fay is closing with every stride, they race down towards his final fence, over it they go, and Stampeland Hill jumps it best in the lead, Stampeland Hill gets away from it, well, National Prince is now challenging for second, they're inside the final furlong, Stampeland Hill from Shimon de Fay right over on the far side, National Prince, Stampeland Hill is hanging on, Shimon de Fay is having one last attempt, also trying to run on his National Prince, but Stampeland Hill is sticking his neck out, Shimon de Fay getting closer, Stampeland Hill holding on, Stampeland Hill takes it, Shimon de Fay second, then National Prince tins in Final well, Shona Fabiola with Lottery and all the way back to Argyle oh, Star, who didn't really figure today. 
and Stamperland heel. Oh, John Morgan. And the questions are they have what if, what if, what if he'd run last week or she'd run last week? Who knows? But Stamperland Hill took that one nicely for John Morgan. Shimon de Fay for Padre Gogan was second. National Prince for Joshua Sutherland third. Tintin Fire for Padre Gogan fourth. And fifth was Sharon Fabiola or David Robertson, I suppose. The big question is how many of these are qualified for next week's Paul Moore's final?